Hi guys, it's Nick at Talk and Review. So this review is going to be on Ready Player One. So I went to see this yesterday um, at the cinema. And if you're not aware of what the film's about, so it's directed by Steven Spielberg and the plot is around a dystopian 2045 and the world looks mostly like a big trash heap. And you've got a teenager, Wade Watts, who's played by um, Ty Sheridan. He lives in, I think it's called the, the stacks um, of like mobile homes uh, with his aunt. And basically what you have is everyone's addicted to strapping on a headset and entering the virtual reality landscape of the oasis which is sort of like the inside the virtual reality and there people can transform into like a digital avatar whether this be live action animated human or extraterrestrial and basically your imagination is your only limit and during the film, he's basically just showing you what you can do uh, within it. So he's telling you that you can climb Mount Everest with Batman. Uh, you can slide down the pyramids. Yeah, basically just do anything that you want. And it centers around um, the creator, James Halliday. And basically it's five years since his death and he's the oasis creator he looks like a he's a bit of a fizzy haired sort of steve steve jobs meets willy wonka uh nerd basically what he's done he's left behind a trio of easter eggs sort of hidden clues uh in in the in the game and the first one to find the keys and follow them all the way till the end basically wins the rights to the trillion dollar company so what Wade does he goes into the oasis as his um, avatar um, possible inside the oasis and this is where he meets a lot of different people and yeah you've got lots of really cool stuff where you're seeing King Kong you're seeing a bit of T-Rex from Jurassic Park. You've seen all of these characters that you're familiar with um, and you're probably big fans of and stuff like that. And what you've got is Wade building up these big, big friendships with people within the Oasis and at some point even falls in love with one of them. And then when he comes into reality these people, uh, when he does eventually get to meet them, they're totally different to um, what their avatars are. And I think Steven Spielberg did really good with this film. He's He always smashes these big spectacle blockbusters. And I think he did a really good job on this one. Uh, some great scenes. Some My favourite one was there's a, a horror scene um, in the middle of the film and it references to The Shining, and that that was really, really cool. There was also a good scene with Chucky. Wasn't expecting it, and when he come in, I absolutely loved that. And for me, the CGI was awesome. Um, it felt like a bit of mixture between... What did I say? It was a mixture between Avatar... Reminded me, and a bit of Scott Pilgrim, where all the coins are falling out. And, yeah, it was a really good film. I think it's definitely one that you, you'd need to watch in the cinema so you can just really experience all the special effects uh, from the film. And it's nothing extraordinary where you need to go out and see this film right now. It's just a fun popcorn film. So definitely go and see this film and I think you'll enjoy it what you've got is for me 
it's like a sort of eye popping kaleidoscope within the oasis you're seeing that much stuff and visual flares and I, th I think Spielberg's done brilliant and I like how he's flicked between the reality and the virtual reality so yeah definitely go out and watch this one really good film hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell if you want all our updates um, we've now expanded a bit further within the social media so we now have Instagram we've got a Twitter page and we will also have a Facebook page so make sure you hit the links below um, if you want to keep updated and have a great day guys